everyone, happy Monday. My skin is looking good. I can't believe how much it's improved since, was it like maybe five, six weeks ago? My skin was probably the worst it's ever looked in my life. And now it's, it's finally clearing up. Oh, that reminds me to take my vitamins. I just had breakfast. Um, so this morning I woke up a bit earlier so I could pack last night's orders. I'm getting a pickup very soon, going to the gym in about four hours at around 2.30. Mondays I go in the afternoon. Um, gonna clean the house today. What else do I have to do? I've gotta film a bit of content. I've gotta take a photo. Um, and yeah, I'm honestly feeling for you guys in Brisbane right now that has to lock down. I just can't believe the timing. Like every single time mum or like someone wants to come visit a few days before, borders shut. It's just like, and it happened to me as well. I was on the Gold Coast and there was a COVID case. We had to quarantine. I had to spend three days in lockdown on the Gold Coast. And then when we got home, we had to quarantine for two weeks. I've done quarantine for six weeks in total because of just my bad luck and bad timing. But oh well, people in Europe have it way worse than us. Like I'm honestly feeling for you guys, if you're watching from like the UK and just, I just can't believe how long they've been in lockdown for. So yeah, I'm sending my love, like you're doing fucking amazing. I just can't imagine being in lockdown for that long. Um, but yeah, hopefully it just gets better. But I guess we just all keep saying that and nothing really happens, but I mean, we can't control it. I don't really have an exciting, like jam packed week, like from my schedule. Like I don't really have that much that I need to do. So who knows if this vlog's gonna be entertaining or not. I'm sure I'll find a way. I'm sure I'll find a way to entertain you guys or do something. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna go and pack these orders now and I will chat later. Okay, I just got some mail from the postman. So I'm gonna unbox it for you guys. I'm so excited for these. I ordered some vases from Adairs. And I really want to paint them. So I've seen this company. I'm not, I can't remember the name, but they do like a checkered sort of pattern on them. And I think it looks really groovy. I think I actually saw it on Tammy Hembro's Instagram. And I was like, oh my God. And of course they were sold out. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try and find a similar like vase somewhere and paint them myself. Cause like, that's a bit fun. I got two, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna do like a blush sort of pink one. So the ones that are on their website are quite bold, like green and like electric blue and like hot pink. But I just think that might be a little bit too quirky for my house. So yeah, Adairs. Oh my God, I forgot how many I ordered. Wait, let me just quickly upload this file for approval. A couple small ones and a couple big ones. I'm so excited. Really want to get some artificial flowers. So if you have any recommendations online or in store where I can get them, preferably like, I really want like baby's breath. I think that would look really cute in one of the vases that I've got. You know how you've seen them like on Pinterest? I'll insert a photo here, but I really like that look. Um, or like tulips or something. That's really cute. But I got this one. So this is like a mini version. I think I got a bigger version and I'm pretty sure I got these on sale. So they were like a pretty good price and they're ceramic. So I don't know if I'm going to paint on that one, but we'll see. This is the blush pink one. It's so pretty. So I got that and I'm pretty sure these are like $30. Like they weren't expensive at all. That's the white. And then the last one, which I can't remember. Oh yeah, that's right. I got this rounded one and it's kind of like textured. You can't really tell. That's a bit cute. This one's not ceramic, like it's like glossy. But yeah, that would be cute around the house. So yeah, I got all of those from Adair. It's not for light. I think I do like the ceramic ones a bit more. Um, but yeah. And I got a package from Elite Subs. I think this is my Naked Harvest top ups. I've mentioned this before, but they now stock Naked Harvest. Oh no, it's not. It's Emerald Labs. So this is their new, newer sort of brand, Whole Food Bar. I really wanted to try a new greens powder. So this is a chocolate, no, sorry, Kiwi Apple Greens. 
I swear I ordered chocolate. I'm gonna have to order that one as well. But I really wanted to try a new greens powder as well. So this one's Kiwi Apple. But yeah, like I said, they've also got chocolate. So I'm gonna definitely order that one. And then we've got, I think, a pre-workout and a fat burner. Yeah, pre-workout. This one's in watermelon snow cone. What do you mean? And then another pre-workout, I think, in grape bubble gum. So I'm sure Peter will do a face test of those because he uses a lot of pre-workout at the gym. And then these are just their bars. So keep to try. Thank you, guys. I don't know what this one is. I'm very confused. Okay, these are really cute, but I'm also so very confused as to... Okay, I don't know if I... Because I ordered these through, like literally these glasses through um, Temple and Webster. And all of my packages came separately. So my chairs will come separately. I got a my plant my artificial little plant pot which I'll show you guys so I was thinking like the glasses that I ordered that literally look like this like came separately so I'm really freaking confused this is a completely different brand called um unbreakable no d still premium unbreakable drinkware so it's obviously plastic but I did order glass ones and I did order um six of them but like I got a little order note saying, enjoy your new glasses, Bianca. So I don't know if they've sent these to me, but it's just a coincidence that I ordered martini glasses from Temple and Webster. Are these it? I'm so confused because I'm pretty sure they were glass and I'm pretty sure I ordered a six pack. If not, that is really weird. But anyways, I don't know if I ordered or these got sent. I got martini glasses. That's so bizarre. Unless Temper Webster works with this brand. And um, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I got martini glasses because, well, I won't be using these because mum's not coming anymore. And I thought we would use my little espresso martini kit that I got as like a Christmas gift and make espresso martinis. But Clearly that's not happening. I'm gonna go and actually get changed, even though I literally just said that like 10 minutes ago, but I literally just got those packages. So I was excited to open them, especially excited to design those um, vases actually, or at least put them on display. Okay, I'm going now. I'm gonna give you an update on the native deodorant. From memory now, I don't think I actually showed unboxing the native ones. I've always wanted to switch to a paraben-free, aluminium-free deodorant. Um, I've been using like an antiperspirant deodorant in an aluminium can for as long as I can remember. Um, yeah, pretty much ever since I started using deodorant. I've always wanted to try this brand. I've seen it all over Instagram. So I got sent their three scents. I've been using this one, Lavender and Rose, but honestly, they all smell pretty good. I love the packaging. It's all like firm cardboard, which I love. So there's no plastic in the um, packaging and you just like lift it up like this. So random. I did not expect the packaging or like it to look like this. But anyway, so this one is in, actually I really like that one, coconut and vanilla. This one's in lilac and white tea. They just smell really fresh. So it looks like this. It's kind of like a putty, but also I'm going to give you guys a little live demo. It's not um, sticky, if that makes sense. Like it it dries pretty quick. I just like checked if I'd <laughs> shaved my underarms. Um, yeah, it dries pretty quick. Um, I haven't actually, to be honest, I've probably been using this now for about five days. I haven't really noticed myself smelling. I have heard that when you do make the switch the first week or so, like I guess all of your toxins are being removed from your body. So you can tend to smell a little bit more than usual because you obviously are switching to like a paraben free deodorant. Um, but yeah, it doesn't feel sticky. Like it doesn't feel uncomfortable. It just feels like I'm not really wearing anything. There's really simple ingredients in here like shea butter and coconut oil as well. They obviously are all vegan and cruelty free, which I love. I love the packaging, especially. I did not expect that from the packaging. They also let me know that these three deodorants, well not these three cents, but three deodorants is usually $36. They did 
give me a discount code and a link so you can get them all for $24. And they do offer free shipping in the US, but they also obviously do ship to Australia as well. I'm gonna go and get changed now and head to the gym. Good morning, guys. So today I'm up bright and early. I'm about to go and have my fasted blood test. Um, yeah, at the same place, because like the place that I went to, the naturopath, like the, the house slash building, there's like a doctor, what else is there? There's like random little practices like inside, so she recommended the doctor there to go and see. So I've booked in with him um, for 8 o'clock, so I've got 40 minutes to get there, which is plenty of time. I don't even know why I'm leaving now, but I don't like to be late for doctor's appointments, but um, even though they're always late half the time anyways. Um, so yeah, I'm getting my blood test this morning. They did recommend for me not to like exercise or like do any like heavy weight lifting today, obviously. So I might just go to the gym and just do some steps this afternoon. I'm gonna put a podcast on and drive there. So, didn't get a blood test because neither nurses and doctors could find my vein. I know my veins are hard to find and every single time I go for a blood test, um, they always struggle. Like they always have to jab me at least a couple of times before they get it or I'm always in there for ages. So I went to the doctor that my naturopath recommended to get, um, my blood's done. And she said, normally he'll just like take your blood when you go. So he tried twice and he was like, look, I'm going to have to get you to go to like a, another pathology place. I was like, okay, that's fine. Um, so then I just walked in and she tried twice. She even tried on my hand and she couldn't find, well, she could find a vein, but there was just not enough blood flow. So now I have to fast again tomorrow because she recommends not for me to go try again today, but she recommended me to go to a specialist clinic to go and get my blood done. I've never had this problem where they actually can't do it like I know that like in the past I've struggled and I've had to try a few times but like they eventually get it but this is the first time that like two people haven't been able to do it so that's a bit scary and yes I drank heaps of water like I drank two of these now I get to have my coffee because I haven't had one today how annoying Yum. I need to go fill up actually. I'm gonna have to do that all over again tomorrow and now I can't go to the gym. Oh well, I'm gonna go maps uh, the nearest 7 Eleven and go home. Oh my god, awkward. I thought my Temple and Webster package like had arrived and I was like, oh yeah, Temple and Webster. He's like, oh, I think so. There's quite a few boxes. And I was just thinking, it's my packaging. <laughs> And he saw me vlog as well. Like I was literally walking out and he saw me. <laughs> Anyways, Temple and Webster should come today as well, which I'm excited for. But yeah, this is just my, um, more packaging for Jazz Hand. <laughs> this is what just arrived. They're just my normal mailer boxes. So the red ones were just for Valentine's Day, but I obviously had some left over. So now we're switching back to gold. I love it golden pink and then my little logo love it i think i ordered like four thousand of them so that should last me a while also just cleaned my car like inside we also cleaned it outside the other day i wiped it all down it literally looks brand new and like i don't think we've even vacuumed the mats once <laughs> since i got the car like literally it looks so good I'm still in love with it but yeah I'm gonna make that like a monthly thing I think because it honestly just makes it look so different literally sweating I'm not going to the gym later I was gonna go to the gym and do some steps but that was a literal workout and a half that was how many boxes was that 
probably close to 30 boxes. Actually dripping and I thought the aircon was on and it wasn't. So I'll just be here on the couch dying <laughs> for the next half an hour. Thought I'd show you guys some stuff that I got yesterday. Well, it's not really stuff, but I um, kind of, I don't know if I'll leave it there, but I got some lilies. How cute. I'm obsessed with lilies. This is one of the pots that I got from Adairs that I showed you yesterday and my new candles. This little candle holder was from Maya. I got it on sale ages ago. I bought it online. I'm not sure about the gold theme. I might bring the other, like the matte black candle holder that I have. Maybe. I don't know. What do you guys think? Are you liking the gold? I don't really have any gold in my house. So that's why I'm like confused. That's the pot that I want to paint with the checkers, like the pink checkers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can get one? Thank you so much. Uh, Jazz. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Yay! Alright, let's do them up. to go out to dinner this is what I'm wearing mum was obviously meant to come today and I booked Nobu for the four of us but obviously that didn't happen so we're still going I'm wearing this top I actually got it today from Staple and Hugh I ordered it and I got it in white as well and then these I always wear they're from Princess Polly and then my new like slides I also got my toes done today these are so gross and then I just decided to shorten my little strap on my bag and wear it as a little shoulder bag and then jewelry i am wearing the antonia necklace pearl necklace coming soon and then what i've been wearing for ages the little zodiac charm and key charm good morning guys okay take two at trying uh, take three actually at trying to take my blood i have sculled about three liters of water again i had heaps of water yesterday as well um let me just put the garage down i also was recommended to put a uh like hot heat pack she gave me a glove so i just filled it with hot water just to rest on my literally just to rest oh that's fucking hot maybe i'll just put it on with this yeah that's better just to rest on for like 15 to 20 before so i'm gonna like try and juggle that while i'm driving Anyways, wish me luck. Hopefully they can find a vein. I am going to a specialist clinic this time though, so they're a bit more experienced in like deep set veins like myself. So I'll keep you updated. Success. So freaking happy. So when I first walked in, I was assigned like a male, like a younger male nurse. So lovely though. And he's like, look, I see you've been like, jabbed a few times I'm not a hundred percent confident that I'd get it the first time so I'm just gonna get one of our like most experienced nurses in and she just walked in and she was like yep that should have been like that shouldn't have been that hard to find and just did it straight away first jab boom and I was like shit you really are good <laughs> thank god for that because that one actually stung a little bit it was a little bit below like it was oh uh, that's probably normal but Maybe just the way that she went in, it hurt a little bit more. But um, yeah, I'm happy that that's done. Definitely going to come back here when I have to do another blood test when I'm on my period. So I've got to do another one when I'm on day two of my period. So I'm definitely just going to come straight here. I've already got the form all ready. So yeah, I don't know when I'll get my period. I think the last period was about 90 days ago. They're so irregular. Like I'll get them like once every like two months, which I'm not complaining about. But yeah, I don't know when my next period is going to be. So um until then i'm just gonna chill i'm probably just gonna have a chill day today i feel a little bit 
not nauseous, but like I'm just hungry. Like it's 9 30. Um, so I'm gonna go home and have a coffee and have something to eat and probably just relax. I've got some orders to pack. I might get them picked up. Um, but yeah, just having a really chill day. And I also will show you guys, I did get a few like replies to my DMs when I was wearing my um, my Alma, or is it Alba? No, it's Alma bag um, from Louis Vuitton. And I made it like the long strap that came with it into like a shoulder strap. I'll show you guys how I did that because I, where did I see it? I saw it on Pinterest and I was like, oh, surely she's just gotten another strap. And I was like, oh no, let me like have a play around with the longer strap. And I threaded it in and I don't have it with me now, but um, yeah, I'll show you guys how I do it because that's kind of cool how you can do that. So we'll show you guys that later and I'll talk to you guys when I get home. I just realized I didn't actually show you up close of the chair that we got from Templin website. I think it goes really nicely with the table. I'm obsessed. I thought I would show you guys the strap that I was talking about in the car. So this is a strap that came with the bag. So this is what I did. So one of the sides, just put it on like normal, just clip it on and then weave it through the second loop. See how I've done that? Woven it through and then obviously create like a handle and then clip the other one, like the other side in at the bottom. And then you get that. But once it's on your shoulder, it actually like fits really well and it doesn't look as funny as it looks now. But yeah, if you want to copy that, go for it. Morning guys, I don't think I even vlogged that much yesterday now that I'm thinking about it. I don't think I did. Anyways, I'm up early because I have to pack some orders before I go to my PT session because I missed yesterday because of my blood test. I had to, like, I just rescheduled it to today because I just recommended to just relax after it, um, even though I probably felt like I could. But anyways, I have a tan on and I feel, I feel like I look sick <laughs> when I don't have fake tan on. I don't know why. Like, I don't have it on my face. I, like, I literally scrubbed it all off last night, but I'll be reapplying today, that's for sure. Um, I'm just about to show you guys, actually, an order that I got last night. She didn't actually tell me to pack it on the vlog, but she left a message saying like, it's my birthday. So that's how I'm justifying this. And I thought I would show you guys what she got because it's absolute goals. And I, she ordered like a bunch of charms and huggies and chains and I like put them together. So I thought I would show you guys what I would pair with what. And I also gave her a free charm as well because she spent a lot of money. Okay, so she ended up getting, this is all in 9K by the way. Um, so she got the everyday chain and then I decided to put her Virgo charm and the Luna charm together on the necklace. I reckon that's super cute. She got the link chain necklace and she also got a bunch of huggies. So the ones on the right are the small eight mil ones and then these two Milan huggies. And then I decided to pair these two charms. I reckon that's super cute because they kind of match. She got the Antonia necklace. I love this. I wear it all the time. And then she also got the Bella Huggies. And then I decided to pair these two charms with it. The Dove and Glow Charm. And then these are the other ones that she also got, which I'll just put in. So she also got the Butterfly Cloud. And then I've just popped in a free Cherry Charm. Because thank you so much for your order. So I'm going to pack it up and put the label on it. How cute. The lilies have finally bloomed. Well, half of them. I think I need to cut those off so they don't stain my table. How good. Aldi literally got them for six bucks for that bunch. Now it's just going to want to make me get them weekly because they're so pretty. Anyways, so today we're going to Ikea and Bunnings so I can get some paint for that vase. Um, like I said at the beginning of the vlog, I really want to paint it in that like checkered pattern that I see all over Instagram. Um, so I'm going to take this book and see if I can match the paint with that book because I'd obviously love it to match. That would be cute. Or even like a lighter pink. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I match it to the book or like a lighter pink like the candle? I'm not too sure yet. I want to check out um, the IKEA artificial plants to see if I can find some. Let me just lock this door. It's so hot today. Don't even ask me why I'm wearing jeans. Actually, it's because my legs are pasty AF and I don't have a tan on. And yeah, this is my outfit. <laughs> Let's see how much unnecessary things I pick up this time. Okay, this is what we currently have. I needed a new 
wardrobe because our Kmart one was giving way. It's just like a portable clothing rack. Got that one. And a bunch of flowers and I found the lamp that I was looking for. It's so cute. It's like a ceramic shiny material and then some more coat hangers and what else do we have underneath there? I can't remember but I'll show you guys when I'm at home but that is what it's looking like so far. This is the boot. We just went to Bunnings and I got some paint and paint brushes. I really like this pink. So I decided to go with that pink. Got some paint brushes for my vase and I'll show you guys the rest when we get inside. So Ikea was a success. I'm so excited. We pretty much, well, I went in to find these lamps that I saw on a girl called Laura Amy's Instagram. She was like, she has a very similar like house aesthetic to me. Um, and I saw them on a page and oh my god, I love them. And she said she got them from Ikea. Couldn't find them online though. So I went in there hoping that I'd find them. But you know how like the ceramic, like, I'll show you. It's kind of like trending at the moment. And they kind of look like mushrooms, like the lamps, slash like, I don't know, little sculptures. It kind of reminds me of that. So cute is that and we also got because i kind of wanted a pink globe or like a pink light so we got the um the globes that you can put in that changes color so you can like change it to i think 10 different colors or something so i got two of them obviously got two lamps so i'll show you guys when i set it up i'm so excited i got two of these for my pre-workouts because they're a bitch to open not gonna lie and i just thought they would look cuter in there and then some more white coat hangers. And I got a bunch of artificial flowers that I'm gonna try and, I don't know, create little arrangements with. I got these lilies in white and pink. And then this one, I probably will have to cut some of them because they're a bit long. And then I got like a rose, one of these. And then I got this red color and then this kind of looks like a wedding, <laughs> wedding flowers. But anyways, so I got this for the side of my bed because I have so many things to plug in. So I thought that was cool. And it's got little USB things for my watch. Happy Good Friday. I hope everyone has an amazing long weekend. Um, Mum should have been here, but I'm just here filming a Princess Polly haul because I have nothing else to do. Peter's at the gym. We're gonna go and have fish and chips later. So my family and also Peter's family only eat fish on Good Fridays. Um, so yeah, I had some protein pancakes this morning, like you saw. I don't even think I showed you guys the overall result. Anyways, and I have one of those little waffle um, cups from Urban Coffee, or is it Urban Brew? Urban Brew. I had one of their like waffle cups, not gonna lie, because I also added chocolate eggs in my pancakes. It was a bit much. But um, yeah, I just filmed a Princess Polly haul. And this is literally the aftermath. <laughs> I filmed it right there. I only could be bothered hanging up that amount of clothes. I'll probably edit that maybe early next week. I need to put all of these clothes away. I still need to get a photo as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my plans for this weekend. I don't even know what we're doing tomorrow or the next day. But yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys an update, even though I'm not really up to too much. I completely forgot to show you guys the lamps. So you had to get one of these. How cute, and you can adjust the brightness. So if you want it really bright, it literally lights up the whole room pink. Peter's got one too. <laughs> I'm just changing the linen. Um, or you can have it on really dim. 
which is also a vibe. And then I'll show you guys the other colors. So obviously this lamp didn't come with the colored bulb. You've got to pay for it separate, but just go into the like lighting section. So we've got like a peach color, so cute. And then just like a bright white, an orange. Oh, it's actually like a yellow. No, that's like a yellow, like a warm color. It's like peachy. This is obviously my favorite. But yeah, I just completely forgot to show you guys. Hey guys, happy Saturday. It feels weird, like it feels like a Sunday today for some reason. I don't know, don't ask. Anyways, it's technically Easter Saturday, obviously. Um, I haven't really been vlogging much this weekend. Last night we went to Cicerello's in Fremantle and had fish and chips, like I'm pretty sure I mentioned. Um, and then we just came home and I ended up painting those vases. So <laughs> the first one was a bit of a fail. I don't hate it. So I just went in with it like freehand. I didn't really map, or I very roughly like mapped out the squares, but I didn't actually count how many squares across because obviously you need to do like pink, no pink, pink, no pink. And of course I fucked it up and I didn't put enough squares around. Um, and yeah, I just did it wrong, but it actually does look a little bit cute. Like it's not perfect, but you know, it doesn't look bad. So I really like it. I also bought some hot cross buns to have later. So yeah, they're all the artificial flowers from um, Ikea that I got. And then, yeah, that's what it looks like. I mean, I just gave up and I didn't even finish the back, but that's all right. No one sees the back. So yeah, I think that's a bit cute. And then like the purple candle. And then for the other one, I also stuffed up, but it doesn't look as bad because I actually went in and stenciled it. I think I'm gonna get rid of this um, pink book because I feel like it's too much pink and maybe put a white book down or even no book. Um, but this is the other one. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it also doesn't look bad. I need to still use a rubber to rub out all of my like stencils. But yeah, I don't know. It's just really quirky. It's really cool. That's not gonna stay there. I don't know why that's there. And I don't think that candle there is gonna stay because it's cream. But I really like it. It's something a little bit different and yeah, it was fun. It only took me about five hours to do both of them. <laughs> Apart from that, I ended up making some, I would say keto chocolates. I used to make these kinds of chocolates when I was doing keto. So I melted down, you can get this one from Woolies, the Well Naturally, uh, not gonna lie. I'd say like 95% of my diet since seeing my naturopath has been dairy free. Like I haven't been, like I've been conscious of eating dairy um, and I didn't realize that both of these chocolates have dairy in it. So love that. And this is the VitaWorks chocolate. You've probably seen this all over my Instagram and vlogs. So this is them. Oh my God, yum. Cause this is like a gooey caramel. What? That is amazing. The fact that that's sugar free blows my mind. Well, low sugar honestly blows my mind. That is so freaking good. So anyways, I'm not really doing much. I'm just about to edit my vlog because I haven't started editing it. What else can I update you guys on? Oh yeah, I posted a little sale on Jazz Handmade. So there's actually a sale tab now when you go on the website um, and it's up to 30% off. Even I think some items are more, um, but yeah, they're just obviously, it's like some materials from when we first launched that, I don't know, haven't been so popular. Um, so I just decided to put them on sale. Um, so yeah, definitely go check that out. You don't need a code or anything like that. It's already reduced so you can just add it to your cart. Also, before I forget, I got this amazing candle delivery from this company. Melted fragrances. They smell amazing, but how cute is this customized jazz handmade candle? It definitely smells like vanilla caramel. I can smell it from here. It smells amazing or it's one of these ones. 
Now that one's watermelon. This one is vanilla caramel. It's so cute. This one's got little Dior and it came in these amazing boxes. So thank you so much for thinking of me. That's her Instagram. This is gonna go straight in my little room. I love it. <laughs> Sunday. I just realized I haven't vlogged today. So yeah, we are just about to go over to Peter's parents' house. It's about 3 p.m. We pretty much woke up. I had some pancakes again, my protein pancakes. Just chilled pretty much. I've been packing orders pretty much all day um, because I did mention that I did put, I actually put more um, items on the sale tab of the website. So now we have up to 40% off. So if you guys have always wanted to try my jewelry, including the Verona necklace, this is on sale as well. Heaps of little like ball back studs, a Fior, butterfly. If you've had your eye on some of the pieces, then now is your chance because I'm gonna extend it. I just realized it'll be Monday when you're watching this. I might extend it to Wednesday this week and then yeah, there'll no longer be a sale. So make sure you grab whatever you're wanting because this is probably my biggest sale I've ever done. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go do my makeup. I'm just gonna do something quite natural. Actually natural because I can't be bothered and I don't have time. I'm just putting on the Stila. I actually really like this one. One step correct, it's old, but um, it's really good for evening out your skin tone. Like if you have redness or pigmentation. So I've just put that all on and then I'll just go in with my Lust Minerals and my Kabuki brush. Oh yeah, this is in shade six. I'm only going to use like a really small bit of this because this is quite full coverage. So I'm just going to buff in the littlest bit just to even out my skin tone. By the way, my conch piercing is healing so nicely. I sometimes even forget that I just got it pierced. Like it doesn't really cause me any discomfort. I feel like it's half healed, even though I know that's impossible. Obviously when I knock it, um, it hurts like a bitch, but I don't really knock it that much because it's like inside my ear. But yeah, highly recommend. And the actual piercing is not painful at all. I feel like I found it my least painful piercing and I've got a lot. Like I'm not even kidding. Um, yeah, highly recommend. And I can't wait to like mix around with like the jewelry that I put in. I really want to put in a huggy at one point, like when it's fully healed. She did pierce it like as close as she could to like the side of my ear. So I could put a ring in it. Um, but yeah, I'm quite excited about it. Not going to lie. I'm going to go in with like a few dots of NARS just on my inner corners. And then just to lift my eyes up a bit on the sides. I just can't believe I like never wear full glam anymore. Every single time I used to do my makeup, it would be like full glam or nothing. Cause I feel, I felt like I didn't really suit like this sort of look, but now this is all I wear. And I feel, <laughs> I feel weird when I do like a full face of makeup with lashes and liner. I do love my liner, like my winged liner, but I'm just really off lashes at the moment. It's probably because my ones are really, like when I layer on the mascara, mine are quite long, like they've grown so much. Um, okay, so that's the concealer. I even think that's a bit too much. And then I just go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder just to set. I'm actually gonna set my whole face with it. Okay, base is done. I'm gonna go in with a bit of bronzer. If I can find it, that would be amazing. Oh, yep, of course it's behind the camera. 
This is the NARS Paradise Found. I'm just gonna, oh, that was a bit much. I'm just gonna pop a bit of this on my cheeks. I've actually been liking this Napoleon one hybrid veil blush in rosé. It's very pink and it's very pigmented. So you only really need the littlest bit, but it's nice. It's not shimmery. Sometimes like I like shimmery blushes. Sometimes I don't like if I have really bad texture on my face, I'll stay clear of shimmery blushes because they just bring out the texture. Okay, then I'm going to go in with this highlighter from Laura Mercier. This is the Esme Skin Snack. I love it. I use it as like a setting spray slash just throughout the day just to give my face some moisture. Um, eyebrows. So my eyebrows have been laminated. So all I've been really doing is brushing them up like that and then I'll just go in with a brow gel I honestly don't understand how people can wear like an eyebrow like that like I get the whole lamination trend but like brush them down like this like how much better does that look like just I just want to clean it up every time I see someone's brows that are literally sticking up like just just do this clean them up a bit like they still have that brushed up look but like you can tame them back into shape do you know what I mean I feel like I see some people and I'm just like <laughs> like it literally looks like they got electrocuted honestly if you've never used bronzer as an eyeshadow try it because it's like the perfect color so I'm just blending that in, just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. I'm gonna actually grab a darker brown and I'm just gonna use that to line the top just to give it a little bit of something, something and smudge it in. I'm just gonna go in with the mascara. I love this Anastasia Beverly Hills one. And the trick to making your lashes look like you've got false lashes on is literally just keep layering them. Look how long my lashes have gotten. I'm actually shook. Also, literally all the rings that I'm wearing are on sale. Like the Cuban chain ring, which is what I wear on my thumb. I'm obsessed. This is the 9K one. I love it. That's on sale. The round stacker rings. The Amour ring in rose gold and the vanity stacker rings that's in between those two also on sale, literally. There's so many things on sale. Look at my eyelashes. Like it honestly looks like I'm wearing falsies. This is like my fifth coat. I've been really liking this one. It's from Pat McGrath. It's called Buff. And I've been using that to line my lips. I don't think I'm going to go in with a lipstick. I might just use maybe a lip gloss or that's quite nice. This is the Jouer Peony. Oh, it's a shine balm. So yeah, it's not really a lipstick, but it's a really nice color. I'm gonna do some loose waves. So, what I did the other day, I got some rollers and I just used maybe four. Ideally brush it. Straighten it. And just chuck it up there like that and then I just got these sections here and I just left it for about 10 minutes and then I took it out and it just gave me a really nice like I don't 
don't know, like blowout type vibe, but without the effort. Because <laughs> I couldn't be bothered doing my whole head. It's actually really, really quick and easy. Okay, I'll be back in 10 and show you guys what my hair looks like. But yeah, this is pretty much my makeup. And then I think I'm just going to wear this top. It's from Princess Polly. And then the cream pants that I also got from Princess Polly. I think I might just chuck them on. And that's it. It's been about 10 minutes. I probably could have kept it on longer because we're not leaving straight away. So it just gives you a little like nice wave. I might have to go over this top section with a hairdryer. Oh no, that's all right. See how it just kind of gives it that like effortless, I don't know, fresh blow wave look. And I just did like the fronts. That's it. That's how I've been like doing my hair recently. But I'm going to end this vlog here because obviously I'm not going to be vlogging at Peter's parents. We're just going to chill, have dinner. We might even get Guzman and Gomez. I kind of feel like that. We're just going to order takeaway. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Hopefully it's not short. I just realized when I was editing it, I think it was like 40 minutes when I was editing it yesterday. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out the Jazz Handmade sale because like I said, it will end this Wednesday. So if you've been eyeing off some pieces, then now is your time. You don't need a discount code or anything because everything's already reduced. It's just on the sale tab on the website. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next Monday. Bye.